today we're going to be going over this insanely slept on color grading plugin that's completely for free inside of After Effects. Let's go. The free plugin that I'm referencing today is the Video Copilot Color Vibrance plugin. Now this is a little bit of an older plugin. It was made, uh, oh my gosh, 10, 11 years ago. But that is exactly the reason why I say it's completely slept on. Because it's super old, people kind of forgot about it, but it's still really, really good today. So what does Color Vibrance actually do? First, you can go ahead and go to their website. You can get it completely for free, download it, install the After Effects plugin. Then we're hopping inside of After Effects. Right here, I have a music video. Now in this clip right here, I have this alpha non-color graded clip of this fire that I got from Action Visual Effects Stock Library. So what I need to do is I need to change the fire color so that's orange and bright. If I were to do it the normal way, I would go to my curves. I would apply curves to this layer right here. I'm gonna go to my red layer. I'm gonna turn up that red right there. And then I'm gonna go to my blue layer. I'm gonna turn down the blue. And then I'm gonna go to my green and I'm gonna have to create like this like little S curve pattern so that we can kind of have like a more realistic looking ish fire where the tips are like more orange and then the insides are like still yellowish. But to get there, we have to do all these steps right here with this curves effect. Now, if I use the video copilot color vibrance plugin, all I literally do is just take it, drag and drop and boom, we have all the colors like completely correctly applied all i have to do is just go to this like reddish orange color right here and you can see we have those yellows inside that fire and it's obviously a lot more vibrant and kind of realistic also so you can see how easy and simple that was yes you can use tint yes you can use hue saturation but yeah you're saving all those steps basically also it's really extremely helpful particularly for overlays so i'm going to turn on the clip below so i'm going to add a crt glitch overlay right here from one of our crt overlay packs from our website 11percent.net if you want to check it out it's available at the link in the description so this right here is the crt overlay that i actually want to use really quickly before we go any further if you ever run out of any cool visual effect ideas or need new transitions and effects for your projects with a fast turnaround you should definitely download our editing presets at our website 11percent.net we have preset packs ranging from transitions and camera shakes all the way to cinematic title cards and 4k overlays also right now if you buy one preset pack you can get a second pack of your choice entirely for free saving time is the best investment any editor can make for themselves so whether you're using premiere pro app after Effects or another editing software entirely. These packs are super easy to use, saving you hours of work. Make sure to check them out at 11%.net while this buy one get one free bundle lasts. Now let's get back to the tutorial. First things first, I want the lightning to be a lot more blue. So I'm gonna obviously apply VC Color Vibrance, apply that, set the color to a more bluish color like that. And now normally what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the blending mode to screen. But the issue with screen is that we actually lose a lot of information, particularly when it comes to like brighter areas. So you can see right here if we zoom in and see we're losing a lot of this like information it's kind of getting blended in with like brighter areas of our subject and our background what happens when we actually use color vibrance so i'm going to turn this back to normal is that there's an option where we can use the matte alpha and all i have to do is change the off option to on and boom there we go now we have all the black completely removed and all the colors like completely reserved and it overall just saves a lot more information in the actual clips kind of like luma key but the issue with luma key is that you actually have these really rough like hard black edges now this of course once again is a completely niche application but it works really well and saves you a lot of steps lastly let's go on to tint effects now in this music video right here there's a lot of like red themed effects right here you can see these clips right here are all shot with like actual red lights but let's say you want to create that same red look for just standard Standard shots like this all I literally have to do is drag on VC color vibrance right here to the clip and then change the blending mode to red and boom now we have this nice red background that matches the rest of the music video so you can already see how many steps this free plugin saves and how much time you're saving overall and of course video copilot made it super easy to customize change and adjust I'm gonna go ahead and spice this clip up a little bit more but I hope you found something useful but if you also want to learn how to create three easy music video transitions inside of After Effects like this you can check out this video right here